Hey guys, I'm Anupama from Assam and you're watching PTS Care Expert. Today I'm going to discuss about one of the most common issues of any building and that is dampness. So guys, we have a cylinder which we call NAMI, Moisture and Dampness which we call it from different names. And if you see, this is a very big problem. And this is a problem and losses are very much. So in this video, I will tell you what is dampness and what is dampness to stop dampness. सबसे बेस्ट और असरकारी उपाय कौन कौन सी है सो गाइस विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम लेट्स स्टार्ट द वीडियो जो आप सामने देख रहे हो दिस इज डेम्पनेस एंड आई होप एवरीबॉडी इज फैमिलियर विद दिस प्रॉब्लम इसे हम पपड़ी भी बोलते हैं और चिलन भी बोलते हैं इन सिंपल लैंग्वेज द प्रेजेंस ऑफ मॉइस्चर्स इन वेरियस पार्ट ऑफ अ बिल्डिंग एज ए रिजल्ट ऑफ विच पेंट ऑन द वॉल गेट ब्लीच्ड फ्लेक्ड एंड ब्लिस्टर्ड एंड देन पीलिंग एंड क्रम्बलिंग ऑफ प्लास्टर ओकर्स एंड इट लीड्स टू अनप्लीजेंट एंड अनहाइजीनिक कंडीशन टू ट्वेलर्स डू यू नो द डिफरेंस बिटवीन मोल्ड एंड मिल ड्यू एक्चुअली बोथ मोल्ड एंड मिल ड्यू फ्लोरिश वेर एवर इट इज डन Both are moisture lover. Both are members of fungi kingdom. But there is a distinct difference in how they affect the surrounding area and health. If we talk about the appearance, mildew is a grey and white fungus often powdery in appearance, while mold appears as black, yellow or green. Mold grows normally under the under the surface of anything that has gotten wet, whereas mildew is less evil as compared to molds. Although both are fungi, mildew is not as troublesome or as invasive as mold. But neither mold nor mildew is welcomed in home. So how can we get rid or stop this problem? And we'll discuss about this in our later part. Now let us see what are the different causes for dampness. Dampness may occur due to rainwater, groundwater, leakages from pipes and construction defects. If we talk about the rainwater, Rainwater may enter into the building if the rooftop is not properly covered with waterproofing material. And if the in the flat roof, improper sl roof slopes result in the ponding of water, which result in the dampness. Improper plastering of the house may also be the other reason for dampness. Improper fixing of the drainage pipe. If the drain pipes from the rooftop are not properly fixed, water starts to pond near the mouth of the drainage pipe and as a result dampness occurs improper slopes in sunsets improper construction joints in roofs leads to formation of dampness groundwater normally the dam caused due to groundwater is known as rising dam and this has been a very well known problem and this can be overcome by using dpc which we will discuss in a later part as we all know that generally the buildings are constructed upon the soil but due to the capillary action or increase in the groundwater table the water may hit the foundation and this result in the formation of dampness at the floor level next leakage of pipes it may be commercial or residential building there will be a number of water pipes soil pipe etc constructed in the structure and these pipes are constructed to circulate water or drain out water the network of a pipe is created by joining a number of pipes bands etc which often leads to the leakage of water and which result in the formation of dampness construction defects poor quality of construction materials most of the construction materials such as concrete bricks or plaster possesses interconnected voids between them and when these materials come in contact with water water finds a path to penetrate into the into these voids Again, this water, when aided by capillary action, moves in different direction, causing faulty construction or bad bad workmanship. Suppose a designer has specified that the thickness of the dam course must be 15 mm, but due to the lack of adequate supervision, the thickness of completed dam roof course become 10 mm. Then this will not serve the purpose for which it is constructed. and consequently it will leads to dampness in the building defective dam proof course 
DPC barriers fail to function due to the effects of fungal decay or poor machinery or due to the structural movement. Therefore, the waterproofing compound used in the DPC might not be adequate to stop the movement of the moisture. The growth of vegetations and termites on the walls of the buildings. Damage to the electrical installations and it may lead to the damage or danger of short circuiting as well. Unhygienic and health risks to the occupants. It may affect the immune system and also leads to respiratory problems, respiratory infection. It may also give rise to the breeding of mosquitoes. It causes corrosion of metals. As a whole, if we see, it reduces the lifespan of the building. The treatment and the measures need to adopt to stop this problem we'll discuss in the next part. And guys, if you found this video a little knowledgeable, then please do like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for future update. Till then, goodbye, thank you guys and take care.